crowded stream today we're gonna start looking at making our own resources on our own farm because we keep running out of things and we need to start looking at making our own portions a uh, potion portions potions and for that we're gonna need our own resources so part of that is the berries and other parts is things that we actually need to collect so um we'll see how that goes oh what do i have here where am i yes i've been farming this area here actually we're gonna start with that um, just while we wait for people to drop in so that we can uh, see if we get lucky on a drop. I actually got lucky on one of the drops and I got a new top. So if you actually look at my inventory, now at my chest, I got an uh, upgrade to my chest, which is 61 physical resistance, 30 magical resistance, and that is a huge improvement over what I had before. So this is a level 13 chest and it's a warrior chest which obviously is very good so risky but agile upper body armor at least your shoulders will be safe from <laughs> i like that yeah with these impressive spoilers i i do like the way this looks like just like a t-shirt and this is basically the massive armor so it's really nice design hell arms how are you h2o i hope you're doing well and so while we wait for people to join in i'm just gonna do another run quickly we should have enough resources. This is all stuff that dropped from there. Um, we still have enough durability and we have healing. Yeah, it's actually popped a little bit of healing there. Oh, that was my last berry. That's not good. Is there any berry bushes here? Just so I can snag a few. No, these are all trees. Is there no berry bushes here before we pop in there. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's indigo. Yeah, we need that as well. No, I don't think we're going to get lucky with the berry bushes, but there is some... Um... Oh, crap! I didn't have a weapon attached. Oh, bollocks! What are you? you oof that is new meat i haven't seen before that is crazy okay so we might get a new cooking recipe from that so what's the story with those uh with that healing oh they actually give us plus three healing generation that's much better than the berries i think we might as well pick a few of those up and we want to make some seedlings possibly so that is actually really good timing awesome now, today the main task is, well, we start off anyway, and then we'll see how long we stream. Oh, yes, Camilla line, whatever. We need more of that. We need uh, to start looking at a farm. So we need to make loads of seeds of things, and we need to start working on an area to build a farm. So what I was thinking is to make it uh, um, kind of uh, near our base, obviously touching our base, that would probably be preferred. What is that over there touching? Have we been up that far? Yes, we did. Okay, I think it's time to go back and uh, do another run of the well. And see how it goes. The well is actually very tricky. There we go, look at that. Get some healing in there. The well is, is very tricky. Um, I figured out most of it. There's still, still one or two corners where the enemies give me a bit of problem. What is this? This looks weird, that little line here. Okay, let's go. Okay, we have the water. Excellent. Okay. And then we're gonna go down here. Actually, we want to be careful. Let's not get too close. Because the one... Dude is right here. I can you can just about see him. Right there. That was bad timing. I was going to zoom zoom away. Yeah. 
Yeah, so my problem is the the block because my mouse is knackered and most of the time when I'm holding the right mouse, it actually doesn't click. So let's just get them all out. There's a chest here. Oof, okay, that's nice. It's good when we're mage. And we also want to actually get the loot of this guy. Yes. Nice. Okay, so there's two chests in here that I want to get. Let's use the, the these guys. Okay. There's one arrow guy here. These guys here are... Yeah, they always hit me for some reason. So actually, we avoided this one really nicely. So this is chest number one, and that hasn't given me anything amazing yet. Yeah, it just gives me some random nonsense, which is actually funny because I think this gold chest is supposed to be more of a valuable chest than the silver chests. But so far, from the silver chests, I got better stuff than from the gold chests. So um, we're not going to use the stuff. I'm going to keep the level 11 gear, though, uh, and weapons, just in case we want to dabble in magic at some point. But um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, so let's go and get the second chest, which is hopefully we're going to have enough shroud for that left over. Just have to be careful. Sometimes I don't have enough shroud. And then we're just gonna do the whole logging out and logging in track to get back out. Okay, where's the. Yeah, I don't like that you still get hit, even if you do the zoom zoom. Oh, he's the big boy. Okay, here we go. No idea why he just did not take any damage. Okay, so I don't think we have enough time to get the chest. No, I don't think so. And I also got turned around on myself, so we don't have enough time to get the chest. Damn it. Okay. So let's go home and start working on the farm. Um, Viper, how are you? Yeah, you want no touches, yes. Flat attack, Todd, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. We need a stream showing all your hats. I don't have that many. I only have about four or five, and um, I eat, well, I have more than that. But a lot of them are older, and they're all kind of nearly identical. 
what I have in the moment about I have a, a, a blue, a red, a yellow, and two gray that I rotate between depending what color shirt I'm wearing, t shirt. So, um, yeah, there's that. Let's pick up some of those uh, things and pick up some clay actually now before we go home. There's a lot of clay here actually. This is a really, really nice spot for clay. Look goes all underneath here it's a really lovely spot there we go nice loads and loads of clay okay let's get some more strawberries and then we're gonna go home Beets. Oh, that was plant fiber. There, more cameline. Calameline. If you can get more indigo as well, because I would like to start farming pretty much any of the second um, stage resources. Oh, yeah, here, be careful. Here's where the pigs are. I might as well kill them again. That would be handy. Ooh. Pick. No, there was a rock. There's the pig. Nice. Some more indigo. Oh, that was flax. Is there anything in here? Oh yes, more strawberries, very nice. And more camel line. Awesome. I think we need five to make seeds. So I have one at home and I have how many on me? Three. So we need at least one more. And I think it, it takes five to make a seed. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's just um, plant fiber. I thought it was a new resource. Nice, more indigo. Mike, how are you? Kick should get a hat made for Swarovski crystal spy uh, off. Okay, I don't know what that is. I have to look that up. Oh, what is this? What is this place? I don't know. I hear footsteps. the growling okay that was the growling oh 
there's no loot up here? You're kidding me. How depressing. Okay, we haven't been into this l l direction, so we might as well swoop, swoop. Oh, yes, there we go. Nice. And another one. And some more indigo. Oh, that is beautiful. This is exactly what I was looking for. Okay, let's go home. We have everything we need, I believe. Yes, we have flux at home. We have definitely enough indigo. I think we have enough camel chamomile. Genie mark, what a word. And let's go home. We have to go over there, but we have to actually today, after the farm, um, we're gonna have to focus on getting the table saw. The table saw is the number one priority because that is right now a crafting progression blocker where we cannot make the next bigger chests. We cannot make the next things without a table saw. Okay, so let's put everything away. Oh, we actually had more berries. Purple berries. I didn't realize that. So how much do they give? They give two health regeneration. They give four. Excellent. Okay, so we have some more strawberries here. And the new meat as well. That is actually we're gonna have to cook that and see how strong that is. Grilled game. So that will probably give us a hell of a lot more resources than so right now the chicken or the the gate the the one that looks like chicken meat is the lowest one then we have the wolf meat which is um the next highest one and now we have the raw game have you played ghost recon breakpoint i did i i did a couple of streams as well on it um and i was going to play more of it but there was very little interest so that's a very good game i really liked um the the way you could sneak into bases, the kind of stealthy mechanics mechanics of it was really awesome. Everything tastes like chicken in a simulation anyway. So the wolf meat gives us plus two constitution and that's plus three. So that's the next tier up, obviously. It makes sense. That's great. So, but we're just going to put it here for now. There we go. And... Anything here now? Oh yeah, we we're gonna have to put a bigger chest here as well. So we can leave the chests here, and then we have the arrows here as well. Yeah. And this is a new flask. Okay. Anything else? No. Okay. Let's put everything away. There we go. We have some stuff here. Loads of clay now. And here we have the salt. Yeah, the chest management in this game is something else. Like I said, if we're going to end up with big, big chests, that's great because then we don't have to separate them. In the moment, I have things separate because it's just easier that way. Oh my god, would you aim at the lower chest? Oh, I didn't even have anything for it in it. Okay. There we go. Nice. Okay. Oh, everything put away. Beautiful. Let's put the weapons away. We have another axe. Level 7, level 11, level 8. I don't think we really need the level 7 one anymore. And that's a level 7 staff. We have that. Excellent. Okay. Oh, that's another staff, actually. And we don't need this one anymore. Okay, good.
Now, what do we need for the farms? We need... Um, yes, we need more farm soil. So we have to go and get some for the, some of that. So let's get some food, some drink. Let's repair our... And we have our pickaxe. Very good. So let's go and get more farmland, which is... Where's the farm? Where did we have the farm? It was beside the tower here. There. Harvest. Yeah. So let's get to here. And then we're going to fly across. And we're going to get more um, farm soil. Whatever it's called. Um, you love it. You playing last week. Yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Hidden Truth, how are you? Greetings, immortal Hidden Truth. One point here, so we need three more points to put into the minor category. This is where the farming plots are. I was missing them last time. This should have some interesting stuff in it. Let me see. Oh, it's not a lot, but yeah, it has some uh, flowers, some plant fiber, and then more tomatoes. Yes, tomato tomatoes. Very nice. And of course, some mushrooms here as well. What the hell was that? Oh, it was a bomb. I didn't even realize I had that selected. Berries. Meat, very good. Always pick up the honey. Because there's honey and wax you can get from it. And we have enough, enough corn, so we don't have to pick that up. But let's get the um, palm soil. That's, that's the word I was looking for earlier. And the good thing about picking up the honey is it gives us stamina. Okay, how much did we get for one full set? Look at it, we nearly got 50 for one whole thing of stamina. That is pretty awesome. So that's, we have three rings of stamina now. Flatten it all, go, go, go. Yes, we make the whole world flat. We can't flatten it sadly because we only can flatten things in our base area. We're gonna get a hundred and then that should be enough. I'm waxing my honey, yes, that that is it hidden, exactly. Absolutely. Yeah, crafting farm soil is probably quicker, but I don't want to waste my resources on it. Because it still needs dirt, and then I would have to dig dirt. So either way, you're going to have to dig something. And I think it's dirt, isn't it? And uh, I'd rather just dig out the farm soil directly. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's plenty. All right. Um...
Now, farm soil, how much do we have in total? 193. Very good. Um, the meat we're going to have to cook. This we can all put away. Now, what do we have left? Bones, bones. There we go. Okay, good. Now let's pick up the rake, I think. Let's pick up the building hammer as well. And we need some wooden blocks. Oh, we need the farmland. Yeah. Okay, so um, what I was thinking is um, that we place. Mm, so, yeah, the base. Let me see. So we can see the ring here, I guess, um, up to where we can build. Yeah, it's up to here now. So we can increase that again more. So from a base perspective, I think I want my farm out the front here, perhaps. So we'll see. Let me go here. And then we have this. So this is pretty much um, where I think we want it. To make this look better, I might actually put it on a platform simply for the reasons that it will be straight, basically, I think. So if we do that first. Oh, I actually wanted to build a room here. So, yeah, so we leave it here in the front. So we're going to do something like that. Um, maybe one. Why don't we leave one, two, three space? And then we can build our farm here. Make it a three by three or something. get rid of this and we started here yeah now what happens if we do this? too high so if we do it like this does that look good awesome and then we can remove this oh shit undo um. can we snap it to this That looks better, yeah.
Um, try building the farm within your house, say in the third floor, and leave the roof open. Oh, you can build it wherever. You can build it underground. It doesn't even need a roof. Like uh, when we, the first time in our first world, we built it underground, the farm, just to see if it works. Uh, you don't need, to, you can build it wherever you want. You, you, can, you can place this terrain down anywhere. It doesn't matter. You can put it on top of your roof if you want. Um, well, I don't know if it works on roof tiles, but you know what I mean. It's, it doesn't really matter where you put it. Okay, good. I think we got plenty here. Now, the reason I brought the wood is because I think we can either craft or place fences. Yeah, I think we can craft them actually. Sorry, they're crafted. I think. Fences. Let's have five and see if um, they look any good. Hmm, interesting. That is too close. Okay. Yeah, I think that will work. Let's craft a few more. Okay, maybe we shouldn't put them close to each other. They don't seem to work space-wise when they're that close. So we have to probably put them in the correct distance. Okay, maybe we have to flatten things a little bit. Genie Maka Balls. Or maybe we can build a little... Yes, let's see if we can do that. So a little... Uh, what am I looking for? The word... Um, a little path thing to build them on. So let me see. We need... A small tiny floor. That's too big of a foundation still, so it needs to be a single terrain block. Oh, that's actually terrain. Okay, I didn't know that.
Well, that could be considered a path, I guess. Okay, good. And now we have an even surface that we can build the actual um, fence on top of. See if that works out. Yes, that's it. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, good. We can put that all the way around and then leave an entrance here in the front. But what we can also do now, which is really awesome, this is why I love this building system so much. We can go to the single blocks here and go to single wall block and remove this. So I think it would look good if we remove everything up to here to the fence, you see? But in the middle, we can leave a little path that we can build over to our door or something, you know? Can we go a little bit bigger? Um, if we don't snap. Oh, it will actually remove that same size block. Yeah, so we can't really do that, I think. You see, yeah, we can't do that. We can only do that with uh, single blocks here. Yeah, you see, when we click remove, we remove all of that. So we have to stay small. We have to stay small. Can we just hold down the mouse? Oh, oh that's actually pretty cool. When it hits the grass, he actually doesn't remove it, which is awesome. There we go. Yeah, this is pretty nice. I'm not going to do this on, on stream now for the whole lot. I just want to do one side to see what it looks like. Okay, the left, the right mouse. Just keep it clicked, you stupid mouse. I have to buy a new mouse. Probably will do that uh, tomorrow. Okay, yeah, that looks nice. I like that. Beautiful. And I'm going to sort that out all off stream then for the rest of it. Now, um, what we want to do is actually raise the grass level as well. So we're going to go to this and we go to flatten, hold. Now, hang on, hang on. Um, rotate, change angle. We're currently pointing. Yeah, that's not good. Um, change angle. Um, R. There we go. That's now the ground. So if I hold this starting here. Means everything will be brought up to that level or brought down to that level. So you can see here, it's actually perfectly lining up now with everything else. 
and it's actually raising the ground level. Oh yeah, to make this perfectly flush. That is nice. I like that. Okay. Good. I like it. Bit of grass here. We can fix that with a little bit more terrain. There you go. Nice. Make sure it's all flush. I like the way you can see how much we would place if we go around in a circle. You can see it says 179 forward slash zero. But if it says uh, anything other than zero, like here it says one now, because there's still one field here that can be filled in with um, ground. And there's nothing in the middle here, so that's all covered. Perfect. So this is now perfectly covered um, for farming, which is nice. Okay, so let's um, get out of that and let's get some seeds. So what do we need to do first? We want to make a lot of potions. Um, looks like you might need to flatten the grass a little. Yes, uh, Terry, how are you? Uh, making it hard not to buy the uh, the gem, the game, you mean, sorry. Yeah, it, it is a very good game. Uh, Rage, this is one of the few games that does early access correctly. Like I said before, it feels like, uh, it feels like a proper game that just is not finished yet. Yeah, as in not things are missing, you, you feel like you're playing a complete game. Like that's just the way they designed it, you know, whichever way you, they, they have. But you feel like there's progression, you know what to do, you can explore the map, you can do your quests, you can progress through the game, it tells you what to do next, it gives you quests. And yeah, you, eventually you hit what they currently have as maximum progression, but that's how early access should be. You know, that the progression gets to a certain point and now they expand on that progression, you know. And uh, that is exactly how early access should be done. So, oh yeah, what do we need? So let me see. The The first thing is I need the small healing potions. So for that, we need mushrooms, berries, water. We sadly can't farm. Honey and camom. So it would be good for the big potions. Oh, honey. Oh my God. We need to farm. I don't think, unless there's bees in the game, I don't think we can farm honey. Unless there's a beekeeper thing, which we can eventually build. Which I don't know, because you unlock the recipes as you play the game. So you can't really peek ahead of what you're gonna get and um, we actually have to craft let's craft one of these because it's part of a quest let's craft one of these it's part of a quest let's craft one of these and sure let's craft one of these whatever that is one white clone substance yeah sure they're all part of little mini quests you know to craft and uh, so we have done that now we unlocked something new what did we unlock that's new oh the mage set. Yeah, I never really looked at that. Um, okay, we can put that in here. Okay, so we have already the berry seeds. I don't think even I don't think we need twenty of them. We have the red mushroom seeds. And now when it comes to Carmeline, let me see. Carmeline, Carmeline. There we go. Okay, we can make five. I think five is enough. We unlock new recipes. Oh, what do we unlock? Says there's something new. Yeah, why does it have a new icon there? I, I don't get it. What is new? I don't see anything new. Hmm, okay. Yeah, it has the new icon here as well. Could be an issue, could be an error. Is there anything new here? No. 
Oh, yeah. So now the other thing we need is stamina recharge. Yeah. So stamina recharge and mm, endurance and health regeneration. Oh, that's yeah. That's the camel chamomile. We definitely want chamomile. So I don't know if they're stuck. So what I mean is, can I have this active while I have this active? And then we have forest beets and salt. Okay. So we need five corn on the cob. Mm, we might have to make multiple big farms. So let's just craft five of each in the moment and see how much we get out. And then we can see what do we need a lot of. And what do we not? Like uh, berries, I don't know how much we get out of it. So let's, let's place the berries and let's place things as tightly as possible. Um, I think, yeah, that is as far as we can place it in the corner. I don't want to place it actually too far in the corner because we have to hit it, I think, to pick it up. So I think putting it here, no, let's put it there, end of story. And then how far distance do we have to do here? Okay. Three. Uh, can we make a three by three? Nice. Okay, that looks very symmetrically right. The same distance everywhere. Good. Um, let's go with the mushrooms. Okay. Well, we probably can get a fourth row in if we want to have the same kind of distance. Yeah. Excellent. And now for the cameline or chamomile. Probably should put a chest out here um, for the seeds. That would make sense. And it can be a standard medium chest, so let's see. Yeah, for that we need wood plank, so it can't. It has to be a small My chest. Um, uh, again, not sure. Yeah, <laughs> the cool thing about playing Early Access is when it when it, the game comes out, it's almost like a free DLC. Oh no, absolutely. And um, I, I there's certain games I just I'm very very happy with how they do Early Access, like this game and Shrouded. Pal World. I don't know if Pal World is actually early access. If it is, it's doing it right as well. Um, games which I think don't do it right is things like Subnautica, uh, especially the second one when they had enough money to not come out half baked and half assed with barely any designs in the second one. Um, that is absolutely atrocious the way they do early access. I don't agree with it. Um, then, uh, what is in other games for a good example? Um, I don't actually know what other games currently came out that are doing it right and wrong. I'm, I'm actually, I didn't pay too much get, uh, attention to early access. Oh yeah, that um, the, the, they said free to play game, which I also think they're doing an awful job right now doing early access. But anyway, um, yeah, so it, like in Shrouded is a good example like of how to do it right, absolutely. So um, Subnautica Below Zero was an awful job. When that came originally to Early Access, it had barely anything working. It had a bit of a story. It, it didn't feel like you were playing up to the point where you could play a complete game. It felt like you were playing 
a, a completed story to a certain point, as in the story was progressive, but the mechanics, the base building, the things you could do, they were a mess. Like that, that, that was not very good. So, um, make it a habit to go uh, to the well. Yes, actually, uh, the well, you're absolutely right. It can give you 15 water. Um, after that, it's dried out. So you have an absolute good point. Um, I hope we can craft our own well at some point. That would be really, really cool, actually. That would be really nice. It would make sense. So here we go. We get five water every time. And you can do it three times, and then there's a cooldown. So I actually don't know what the cooldown is. Let's see if we can somehow time it and see how much it is. Uh, clock, stopwatch, start. Just an approximate. So you can see there's no more icon here. So I'm just gonna... I think you have to move around before you get the icon again. And I think it could be a minute before it resets one cycle. Uh, Sons of the Forest did a good job. Yes, I agree. Absolutely, that's a very good example, actually. Um, um, I think the game was pretty much feeling complete when it came out, wasn't it? So now we're about 30 seconds. So I think it's a minute cooldown. Because I remember picking up three, then doing something else in the vicinity, and all of a sudden I was able to pick up another water. So I think it's a minute. So it should be... If it's a minute, it should be in the next 10 seconds. I see. Mm, oh, is it longer than a minute? I know there is a cooldown. Maybe we have to walk away a bit and then back? No. Oh, I, I thought it was a shorter cooldown than that. So that's a minute. Yeah, well, we're gonna see. We're gonna hang on for at least another minute and see. Um, because I definitely have picked up four before. Yeah, not in a row, but uh, a fourth one after a little while. Actually, we need a lot of twigs as well. No? Okay, so maybe I was wrong. Maybe when I did the third one, I somehow stopped halfway through, and that's why I thought there was a fourth one. Because I think you can walk away from it as you collect it, and it will break the cycle. Yeah, I don't see... Yeah, I... Do, I I don't think yeah okay it seems to be just that's it and you can just re-log in and it will be full again but um yeah i thought it would be shorter than that to be honest um i must have been mistaken yeah it looked like um yeah it's been two 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 and a half minutes now and yeah we can't so, yeah, it must be a bigger one, like five minutes or something then. All right, that was my mistake. I thought it was shorter. Um, but, yeah, there you go. You get 15 water, which helps a lot. And uh, hopefully you can craft your own uh, well at some point. Oh, look at those mushrooms. They look like they're all over the shop. Oh, why did they all so horribly bend? Oh, my OCD is killing me. Um, can we make this nice and flat, actually, with the hoe? I wonder. Does that work? No, it's no difference. It's no difference. I thought it would get nice and even, maybe, or something. Okay, that's, yeah, that's awful. There's nothing there. Okay, um... Let's go and see if we crafted the chamomile already. Nice. Nearly done, is it? Huh? What? Plus one. Why is it not crafting? Oh, hang on. Yeah, no, shrub seedling. What? Oh, 
Oh, you know what happened? Because we went into browse recipe, we interrupted the crafting and it never crafted. Ugh, okay. Yeah, that was my bad. Sorry. The, ugh, what a waste of time. Um, but let's see. Um, what else do we need? We need to make a small chest. We need nails for that. Okay, nails. And we're gonna put the seeds in here. Yeah, I like it. Look at that. Nicely in the fence. Love it. Um, let's put the seeds in here. Ah, oh, that's so cool because it's actually on top of the piece of wood. That is nice. I like it. And then what else is there? So we have for the potions. Great. Berries, mushrooms on the go. And they're only one each. So we actually don't need that many of them. We don't Shroud survival. Okay. Shroud liquid. Now charcoal and wood acid can be made here. Hang on. Um, that is wood i think charcoal can be made here yeah charcoal can be made here and wood acid now wood acid um is wood and dirt and charcoal is wood and dirt so can we make trees i think we can make tree seeds and then grow trees but they don't have to be on farm plot i think we can make trees can we is that another thing Broadleaf tree, evergreen tree. Oh, that looks nice. I like these trees. They look really sweet. Let's see if we can um, craft five of them. And then what we can do is for the trees, we can simply just plant them over here for now, five by five. And it means when we ever need any wood or anything. Actually, the red leaf trees, we need to do them because that way we get... Um, Oh yeah, which trees have the honey on it? I wonder if different trees give different resources. Oh, Sons of the Forest was a bad one, was it? Yeah, but like what I mean is Sons of the Forest uh, 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 2, was that not um, complete? Like, So I mean, when I, pl I played it when it came out to Early Access and I completed the story, it was, it was complete. I don't think, that, like, I know they expanded on it. There was bugs and stuff like that, some of them. But it was a complete game, was it not? Like, as in uh, the story, you could, you were able to play through the story. I mean, I did anyway, so. Yeah, let's make actually different trees as well, just to see if there's any difference. Um, this is just a minute left. Okay. Oh, yeah, I mean, compared to the first one, yes, I think the sequel also fell, f fell short. Um, the only thing I preferred about on the second one was the, the story was clearer to me to play through. In the first one, I had a really hard time figuring the next part of the story out, how to progress it, and I lost completely interest. I never actually finished the story in the first one because I, I was just not interested. Yeah, in, in the base building and fighting the mutants was just too much fun. And there was these big gaps where you kind of had to figure out what to do next to progress the story. And I just, it, when a game does that, it's like, okay, you clearly don't care if I continue the story or not. So, um, and then at some point you find an item where it's like part of the story again. And, but at this time, at this point, I lost interest. So I think they've done a better job in the second one with how to progress the story in a way that you don't lose connection to it and you don't lose, um, you know, 
by the time you get to the next point, you, you haven't forgotten what was going on. Um, the first one, I think, was way better in what you could do with your bases and fighting the mutants. That was so much better. Base building mechanics are better in the second one, but they removed so many things that we could have fun with, with traps. And I think the birthday trap, all that stuff is gone, as far as I remember, in the second one. And that, that's what made the first game really fun to play, in my opinion. Um, and they removed a lot of the fun part from the first game. And it made the second game, I think, a little bit more dull. So... But overall, I mean, it's it's Sons of the Forest. Like, I don't think we needed a sequel, though. To be honest, I don't I don't think the sequel was necessarily needed. the The, the story was not that, you know, mind blowing. Come on, are we finished? Yes. Okay. So we have those guys, and now let's see if we can make some different trees as well. So what other trees do we have? We have the broadleaf tree. Is there, is there no trees above it? Just to make sure. Yeah. Okay, so we have the broadleaf tree. So let's make one of those. And then we have the... The red one will give us a lot of flock. Uh, what's the red stuff that I just picked up here? Um, let's do the red one here first. Um, resin. So the red ones should give us resins because I think that's what they do in the in in the real world outside. So let's see if we have to put these guys onto the farm soil or the ground. So uh, one mod gamer, so you can play as well, is it? That that sounds awesome. I'm assuming you're saying that you can. Um, this is oh collect already for this one. I wait until they're all fully grown. So this is actually pretty cool. Okay, nice. Why is this not crafting? Why does it keep doing that? I had this cra this is the second time now. I I set it to crafting and it didn't do it. That is so weird. Well, I can't craft a kettle, girl. So stop complaining. You see the way this takes 7 dirt. So surely it takes you longer to collect 7 dirt than one farm soil. And you have to use 3 bone meal. Oh, sorry, it's 7 dirt for 10. Farm soil, but it also takes bone meal, so I, I think it's just ju just farm the farm soil. It's just less hassle, I guess. I'm not too sure what to make with that yet. Um... Stay safe. Oh yeah, so for these guys, we want corn on the cob, forest beet, and more chamomile. Where's the chamomile? I crafted the chamomile. Am I going... Am I, am I... Okay. Am I losing my plot? Why is this continuously not giving me things? How I crafted chamomile twice now. What is happening? Why is it just point blank not crafting chamomile? Oh my god, I'm gonna lose my shit. <laughs> Did I put them accidentally into the seed box? No, I don't think so. So here we have the broadleaf tree. So now, can I please make chamomile seedlings? And can they please be crafted? Because I think I'm doing it twice now. Oh, okay. 
I have to wait until it says collect, I think. Yeah. They're all growing. Okay, so now trees. Let's see if we can put the trees down here somewhere. I mean, it would make sense. <laughs> and I think they have to be actually quite far away. I think these won't grow. Yeah. So we have to put them three, four, five. I think they have to be at least five spaces away from each other. One, two, three, four, five. But we're going to put them just here randomly, I guess. I mean, theoretically, wherever it's blue, it should let me place it. the red tree and i think we have one more tree no no we placed three types of trees okay now corn on the cob and beast uh, beet seedlings strawberries might actually be very good in general um that is just tr oh maybe i did just shrub or something that's probably what i crafted instead oh yeah i probably crafted shrub and i didn't select the camel my camel line Okay, let's do the beads here on that one. I don't know, maybe I forgot to put it into the queue. And what do we have in here? Okay. We can see if any of the trees actually grow a bee's nest so we can get wax and honey. That would be pretty awesome. Okay, so we have that. Let's see. Oh, we actually need to craft um, one more of those for outside. I think, I guess we have to craft multiple seed beds. Let's keep it like that. Oh shit, I didn't use snapping. Hang on, there we go. And then we can replace that in the end with road, because I think we can do a uh, road here as well. Steep ramp, flat ramp. I think there's a way of make road a path or something, a dirt path, where you move faster. So in the moment, I leave it like this. And um,
There we go. Nice. The reason I did this now is because I want to put the... Um, oh, hello. That's a bit of a problem. Ah! The controls. Okay. Okay, um, I want this to be kind of, mm, uh, do we, are we going to have to have this going all the way around? I think we have to shit because we, otherwise we can't place anything straight here, I guess. Ugh, I hate it, but, um, okay, fine, fine. About the controls. Um, at least it's in line now with all that, so that's fine. Okay, so we're gonna have the fence there, so we're gonna have to be careful where we place the these things so we probably want to place them somewhere like um, here we're gonna have another chest here probably so why don't we place this I want to put a fence here as well to come in no maybe I don't know let's let's place it here seeds and we need corn actually I'm gonna queue up the corn outside Okay, so five each, and are these grown? I mean, they say pick, but it's not going to pick up seedlings, is it? No, they're mushrooms. Okay. We only get one each time we pick it up. Do we not get any seeds? Okay. Okay, we would need... Twelve seeds? Yes, twelve more seeds. So we have eight here. So how many seeds do we make per... We make five. Let's just, you know what, let's just get rid of these eight here first. collect these oh plant fiber bushes yes i planted the wrong bushes yes that's what i did oh wow okay but at least we know we can do plant fiber as well now so they are the berry bush seedlings here how come berry bush seedlings don't give me berry bushes oh, very interesting do all these so 
So I must have crafted at some point for some reason the, the wrong bushes. That's what got me confused with the camelline. Chamomile. Obelicious, how are you? Yes, I'm try I'm get I'm getting there. We're building a, a starter farm. So that's our first harvest here, but that's okay. So the only thing is you have to replant. So that's why I probably will see how many things I need and then I might do very designated farms. The things we need a lot of, I probably will have one farm just with uh, loads of things in it. Uh, we'll see how much we need of things. I have no idea, but it would be good to have kind of everything growing a little bit and keep stocking up on it. So. Oh, does it say report? Oh, repot. I was like, report? That's so weird. It's a repot. Okay. So let's do the um, corn on the cob. Where's the corn on the cob? Oh, we can't make corn? Oh, there. I was just about to say we can make corn. Excellent. Okay, that takes 14 minutes. Okay, but it will give us 20 corn seedlings. It's going to be good. And to get plant fiber, which we need for strings. So three strings per plant fiber. So what we need is we need to at least have shrub seedling. Five, 15. Which is three. Three plant fiber gives us 15 seedlings. That means we get 15 plant fiber every time they're grown. And then three of them will make the next 15. So for plant fiber, if we need a lot of it, we could actually make a whole three by three, like a whole thing just for plant fiber. That's absolutely. So 30 plant fiber or something. Because you can see how close we can farm them here. So this is one, three, six, 12, um, 15, 18, 21, 24. So we can put 24 probably here on one length of this i think we'll see we would have to measure exactly how many we can place so um yeah okay so this is crafting um the chamomile is is growing over here so let's make another magic chest or two because our food needs to go into a magic chest these these type of foods so we can use them for crafting and the flowers oh we actually have corn seedlings i forgot i already crafted them oh that is so awesome so i can put them right here this here and hazelnuts. Hmm, not sure exactly what we use them for crafting for, but anyway, this is cooked food and made food and stuff like this. So all this has to go into a separate chest so that we can actually craft the stuff with it. So let's cancel the, the corn seedlings. Um, ah, screw it. Just, just let it, let it go. Okay. Um, Let's actually start in this corner and see how many we can plant. One, two, three, four, five. Um, there we go, five by five. Okay, so the trees, how are they coming along? Are they growing at all? Are they too close to each other? That's something we need to see. Okay. Um, if we need to put the trees on farm soil, that would be crazy. Because I have never heard of trees having to be in farm soil, to be honest. Um, okay, so we leave that alone. Now we're going to focus on getting the um, chest first, the magic chest. So let's make another medium chest, craft and craft. And sorry, my daughter sent me texts. Um. 
So we not have we don't have a kitchen area right now. So I would say for now let's just put the food um here over the oven. No, actually it should be near the farm. It should be near the farm. We don't need the seeds in there. We definitely need the finished products in there. Because now having the finished product in here means I can access them from here, which is great. So this one here, mushrooms, purple berries, very good. Water. So let's craft 10. There we go. And it means we have 19 potions, which is beautiful. Okay. And what do we need for the shroud potion again? Shroud liquid. Can we make shroud liquid? Um, is there anything for shroud? Shroud. Strawberries, tomatoes. Actually, let's craft some tomatoes. Um, and strawberries as well. We have to definitely craft some strawberry seeds. I have a feeling flax seeds we're going to need a lot of. But there is no other thing. So yeah, let's do the tomatoes here as well. Uh, the strawberries. So we have strawberries, tomatoes, and then we can put um, some other things in here. But that's that will take a while. All right. Okay, good. Let's see if there's any difference with us um, logging in and out. But um, let's put that here. I really hope that some of the trees that grow outside certain types will have a chance of getting beeswax like the the hives and that others have a chance of getting the uh, the red ones will give us resin because that would make sense that means you can have a resin farm as well which is awesome so but it seems shroud stuff is only unless we can make shroud wood trees and they have a chance then maybe of giving us shroud i don't know oh yeah let's get this this and this and this and this and this and Honey, I don't think we really need right now for food stuff. So now we can make some popcorn, I think, as well. Oh, we can't. Why not? Oh, we can. But why not? Oh, I need a fireplace. Oh, bollocks. How do I get the fireplace? <laughs> okay. Yeah, we need to get the show on the road with um, with the wooden thing. Um, okay, and repair everything. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right, let me just log out and back in to see if that makes any difference on the growing part. I don't think it does, but we'll see. You just need a stupid amount of flax to make the higher tier gear sets. That's good to know. Okay, so we're going to queue up some flax as well. Yeah, so this doesn't get impacted by the timer. Very good. And I hope instead of the berries, I hope I can take strawberries with me now because we're crafting seeds anyway. Yeah, this is still crafting this, and this is not growing any faster doing the logging on and logging off trick. So I think this is just basically server time. Like, yeah, okay. The trees, I'm not sure if they're too close. Somebody said when you farm trees, they have to be quite far apart. So I'm not sure we have to figure that out. But I'm going to take these strawberries with me. Because they give us three health regeneration instead of two, which is sweet. Oh, can we also cook them, actually? That would be a good test. What happens if I cook them? If you can. Because I know the berries can be cooked. <gasps> the mushrooms can be cooked. What happens to one of those mushrooms if we cook it? And we can't do the strawberries. Okay, so what happened to the mushroom now? Cooked mushroom gives us plus three intelligence. Oh, that is so cool. 
Sure. Yeah, whatever. Um, they're all stuck. Let me see. Oh, where's my intelligence buff? Do they not? Oh, no. We can only do... Ah, okay. So I don't think this will actually stack. Yeah, we don't need intelligence, so I don't need any cooked ones, but we need the raw ones. Okay, um, this can go in there, this can go in there, this goes here, and this goes here, and this goes over there. Nice. Fine, we're going to wait the 30 seconds. Oh, actually, in the meantime, what we can do... Boom, make it even bigger. <laughs> um, yeah, we need some indigo plants. Um, oh, indigo, indigo plants we can also grow. And mycelium? I don't know. But we definitely can do indigo plants. So let's take them out of here, wherever they are. Where is the indigo plants? Did I not already put them in here? Oh, where is the indigo plants? Bollocks. Where are they? Oh, down there. Okay, chamomile, flux, indigo. Amber is something we mine, so that can go here. And I don't think there's a mycelium recipe. Oh yeah, we made multiple of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Excellent. Okay, good. Let's go. So now we're going to be after the... So, and the, what we discovered last time is that we have to probably go all the way around here, which means we're going to travel to here and then go north. No, not set a wave point, but fast travel. Um, 30 second timers burning our life away half, is, half a minute at a time. Yeah, it's terrible, isn't it? How that works. So let's go north. Um, so we're going to head down here now to hopefully go directly to the... Not sure what that is. Hidden hunting ground? Oh, well, if it's on the way, we might as well, yeah. And keep picking up things. Like twigs and stuff. We need a stupid amount of twigs as well. I don't need to pick up any more berries. Or mushrooms. So where are we? Oh shit! This is not gonna give us a break, is it? Oh, actually no, we can go up here. There's actually... Yeah, okay. So it looks like we can go up here and then walk in between. That would be really cool. in there holy shit there's this shroud in here and look at that we have the fancy mushrooms in here oh wow is that iron that would be so awesome is that flint or iron 
Oh, it's salt. Ugh. Luminous growth. Luminous growth, I think that's just used for block crafting, isn't it? Wow, and we get so little. There's a lot of it in here, though. It's funny how we always get sidetracked. Ooh, what is that? So we're in the shroud now. Oh, maybe that's where we have to go. I mean, cool, okay. God, are you guys ever gonna fuck off? How many more are of these little shitheads are around here? For Pete's sake. Just all come out at the same time. Stop doing that whole feckin' one at a time bullshit. Yeah, fuck off. I was already there. Oh shit. There's more. These guys are so annoying. Oh my god. Why don't you go and suck a toe? What is this? Okay, we're losing time. Oh, nice! Yes, that's good news. That's good news. Let's go up here. Yeah, these creatures, these cra these crawlers are so annoying because they come out one at a time one at a time it's like oh my god just come out and get it over and done with stop being so annoying unbelievable can't see anything okay no 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 just stop just stop just stop stop Jump. Stop walking stupid ladders that are taking so long. Huh. 
So I haven't done this well before, which is great, because that means I'm going to get two um, skill points if I survive. dead end here, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh, what do I fear? Is that where we came from? No. What's this? Yeah, here we go. Here's a... Mid-range weapon, infernal wand. They just respawn. That's crazy. Yeah, they just respawn. That surely is a bug. They shouldn't be respawning like that. The, oh, I can see it over there. How do we get across there, though? Oof. Mother of tits, you piece of shit. Okay, let's watch these first. Watch them, watch them, watch them. Shroud. It's up there. How do we get up there? Okay. Ooh, there's a bridge. Yes, 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 yes. Ooh. Ah, you. Yep. You assholes, you such assholes. Let's 
go across and then immediately kill that tree. Oh! Mother of cock! Why was the floor missing? Oh, you asshole! Oh, what an asshole, man. What a dick. Ah, oh, did everything respawn now? I don't I don't hope so. Oh man. Did the the floor was just gone? It's like what the hell? And fight my way back. Okay, I can see it, I can see it, I can see it. Um. I think we're okay. I don't think they respond. I don't know how I'm gonna get my loot back now because that was right in the in the heart of Oh there's my there's my body. Oh awesome. Yeah, hit air! that Ooh, an archer chest that's actually not bad if you want to keep that um it also is 20 for stamina so it actually is the same as the so why would you pick this like this is the weird part now yeah this gives us 24 stamina and has uh, physical resistance 61 magical resistance so yeah this one has slightly more magical resistance but why would you, in general, pick this over this? Shouldn't they give us more unique properties on the armor to make this more archer-specific? Because why is this archer-specific? It's not at all. This literally has nothing to do with an archer. Like, it, what it should be doing here is like plus two to ranged damage or plus five to ranged damage. Meanwhile, this should be giving us plus five to melee damage. It, it just makes no sense. The, the This is where I think the game still has a lot of improvement to do. Like, this makes sense. Plus 2% melee damage. Yes, I would pick that as a warrior. Why would I pick the archer chest as an archer? Over the warrior chest? Absolutely no reason. So... Was there a golden chest over there? That would be pretty sweet. Just watch the floor now. Yes. Oh, I get so excited and then it's like, ugh. 
So what head is that? Fell Thunder Prude. Hmm. Okay. See, this is a level, a level 11 sword, which this one already is. So, and this one is health regen. So yeah, I think once you get kind of to 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 that stage, the, the weapons and everything, or the armor at least, doesn't seem to make much of a difference. Uh, Steven, how are you? Oh, healing... Pi oh, yeah, so we take that. We don't have to take that. So dying is actually not too bad, because it brings you back there, and all the elder guys are going to be dead, so you don't have to refight them, which is awesome. And we have that chest here. We have a little bit of mycelium. Shroud liquid, what do we have here? Shroud liquid and cloth. Is there any more chests? What is that? Amber? Oh, nice! That is awesome! That is awesome. So this well here, okay. Nearly leveled up as well, which is great. So we're going to get another two points. We have four now. to attack me from behind when I'm least expecting it. Yes, this is the exit. Nice. Yeah, that get, uh, the, the, the bugs can get annoying when they keep coming. Um, and actually, I didn't know they respawned because I was wondering why do they keep coming at me? Did we not just kill them all when we were outside here? And they keep respawning. 
Like, that is crazy. That should not be the case. They should not respawn literally within five seconds of you having killed them. We have to get out of here now though, um, how do we get out of here, let me see where we are, we need to go this way, can we get out of here, does this look like we can possibly walk up a hill there, maybe, I mean there's a path here, so maybe, oh what is that glowing thing? Nice. What will that give us, that tree? Is it just shroud wood, is it? the liquid okay i think we can get out of the shroud here yes awesome that is actually really cool because what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put a fast travel point here and delete this one and then we can finally rest aha Okay, that actually is an upgrade, I think. Only, we can only upgrade it twice, but it will be more damage than this here. Well, this one is actually health leech, so screw that. We don't care for the damage. Okay. Um, now we're going to travel really quickly over here. And... And remove that one. Oh, you have to kill the nest? I didn't know it can get destroyed, the nest. I thought um, 
the uh, the nest just stays there. So, oh, if that's the case, then yeah, we're gonna completely ransack the nest next time. We're gonna go right in and just go bam bam and destroy it. That's the technical term, bam bam. No. Um. Okay. And now we're gonna go home and check out our farm. So that's actually really good. Oh, look at that. We got more quests done as well. We got more quests unlocked because we leveled up, of course. Yeah. Um, but first, let me put everything away. Also, this... Uh, I don't see anything. Okay, let me put the weapons here for now. And... This is just the same head, is it? No, that's a new head. Oh, no. In the wrong chest. Yeah, it's the same head. We already have that head several times. Um... I uh, don't care about wants. Um, okay. Some salt, some cloth, some bones. I uh, know that's crafted stuff that I don't really have to care about. Here we go. Okay, what do we have left? Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to make a bigger chest for all that stuff. Oh, this is actually a level 13 sword. But it's already... Oh, sorry, it's already fully upgraded. So this one will be 11. Let me see, actually. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. It's the same as this. Okay, yeah. I just wanted to make sure we're gonna keep this obviously because it does a, a recharge, increase health regeneration, which is obviously really good. Um, I'll be here. We can keep that as a backup, but it means we don't have to keep this anymore. Now, this one could be more powerful than what we have here, but it can only be upgraded twice. So, if we upgrade that, is let me see, it goes to 42 and 43. So, it goes to 43, but the other one has Life Leech, which is obviously really, really good. So, this one has um, Health Leech. It doesn't show us the details, actually, of what the health leech is until we click into here, which is really weird. And, uh, yeah, there. On hit, leech 5% damage as health. That is really good. So, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna keep that instead, which means um, we have those two as a backup. Yeah, okay. So yeah, I'd rather do five less damage. Um, actually, six less damage. Oof! But it gives us more. It gives us health, which is great. Let's cook the meat. Yeah, clubs are really nice. I like that. Yeah. You can get their comfort levels, the head trophies. Are you kidding me? I didn't realize that. I thought the um, comfort levels were only the comfort items. I didn't know that. Let me see the head. Where can we do the head? They were decorations, I thought. Where are they? Go get them! Oh, you have a new quest? Okay. You. Tall Tales. I grew up in the capital. They used to tell stories. Stories I shared with my daughter as well. Sometimes at night, their faint lights glowing beneath the waves. A sign of Queen Pike meets gracious rule. My daughter there, she saw them once. Children tales are taught. But who knows? Stranger things have happened. 
Tales of Yonder, where's that? Um, Oh, it's a, it's not a quest. It's one of those side things. Anyway, we have six points here now. So let me see. I want to get that, but oof, maybe not now. Um, I think it's time to get the back attack again. That's five points. Um, Oh, okay. Let's try that out. And then we have two points left. Two points. That needs six. Physical armor gains ten percent more armor points. That that's that is not a bad thing. I be, I think. I think that might not be bad. What do you think? Oh, hang on. That sounds awesome. Oh, we're missing a point. Yeah, let's actually save up our points for this. This is awesome. So critical hit. What's our current critical hit chance? It doesn't say really, does it? Oh, there, melee critical. It's only 11%. We have to somehow, we can increase that, I think, with skills, can we? When attacking with melee weapons, your critical hit chance is increased by 10%. Is there any other critical hit chance? So this is critical hit chance here. And then... Um, A critical hit chance again increased. That's actually really awesome. So this is also really good. And then we can go up here and get faster attacks with the hammer, which would mean we could go full on two handed. And then we can go for that. With an when an enemy is killed within 10 meters with a melee weapon, the damage done with melee weapons is increased by 20. Oh man, this looks like a good tree, tree to go into. Yeah, let's save up those points. Do you have anything new? No. Better to be the hammer than the anvil. Where can I do the trophy? I, d I don't... Is it the hunter? Surely it has to be the hunter then if it's a trophy, is it? Wall decorations. Yeah, I didn't know they give comfort. I didn't even see that. Um, we actually have the head of this, but we don't have wood planks. Yeah, so we have that and we have that. So we could actually make all these three heads already. We just need to get wood planks, which is what I'm currently after. So um, meat wise, let's do the big boy meat. Use um, water. And that's it. And then. Oh, yeah. We need a few more arrows. Oh, special arrows. Yeah, we have shroud damage. Shroud arrow. 14 damage. What? You can't beat them. Join them. Oh, wow.
Surely that's better than the than these ones here. Let's make, I would say, 25, so 10. Let's make 9 more goo. Pierce the heart. Of course, bog dust. So magic. And if you know how it's done. Okay. Goodbye. That is awesome. Gonna keep. Th Can I upgrade them? Is are they upgradable? No. Oh, I thought they were. Okay. So, um, Google goes in here, and we go outside and put the mushrooms away. Um, shrub seedlings. We actually want to place them. And here we have the corn seedlings. We also want to place them. And mushrooms. Okay. Oh, hang on. Yeah. Okay, so hang on. Why is that plant fiber? Where's my berry bushes? Why why are berries not growing? Okay, do they have to grow longer to have berries? That is just ridiculously stupid. They're berry bushes. Why is there no berries on them? Okay, I'm gonna leave those guys there because I have a feeling that um, maybe we have to leave them there to get a chance of berries. But that's really silly to call them berry bushes and then there's no berries on them. That's just stupid. Um, we get one chamomile. Okay, so... We have the forest beads and oh no I clicked repot crap they weren't finished growing Ugh, so now we have an uneven one okay oh So what's a shrub seedling then? So, what's the difference between berry bushes without berries and shrub bushes? Complete utter nonsense. Um. Okay, let's see. We need 25 chamomile. chamomile. Berry bush seedlings. A seedling that will grow into a plant. No, it's, it, don't call it a berry bush and make it cost purple berries if you don't give me berries back, you stupid game. You cheater. 10, 15, 20, 25. There we go. Okay, let's go. Gonna go back here now and uh, see if we can get the table saw.
Um, 25 is max level. Uh, points, don't know. Yeah, do you get points past past max level? Oh, the heads move. That's amazing. Oh, that's amazing. I love it. Okay, let's pick up all that stuff here. Ooh, what is this? Resurrection point, okay. Oh, there's a nice little cluster of flux and indigo. I take it. Ooh, big cave. That's the hunt. No, don't get sidetracked. Let's do this first. chest up there maybe I put my shield up, but you just go ahead and ignore me. That's okay. How strong are these? Actually, let me do this one first. Oh, they actually do damage over time. Oof, that's nice. So if I go here. Oh, they're immune to it, is it? No, here we go. Look at the damage. Look at that. That's amazing. Oh, shit. Mother f oh, your tits on a cracker. <laughs> oh. Yeah, these, I hate that they don't get interrupted when you hit them. I think every mob, except the big bosses, should always have an interrupt when you hit them in the face. It just makes absolutely no sense for them not to have that. I mean, he's the same size as me. There is no reason for him not to get knocked back. Where's he gone? Sorry. 
So was there somebody here? It's worse because it's green. I like the way our comfort level is 22, it's higher than at home. I knew it. I bloody knew it. You little bastard! How'd you like some apple, you sh cheap bastard? There. 
Yeah, I like how we hit him with a 200 weapon, fall on in the face, and he's not faced. He doesn't even nudge back. He just keeps loading his little gun and shooting it. Come on, Enshrouded Devs. Put some reality into this game, like when somebody gets hit with a 200 mace in the face square, that you kind of go, maybe you should feel that a little bit, you know? And gravity should kick in, or physics, and knock his face on the ground. Like, you know, that would kind of make sense. Like, really? I mean, you can understand maybe with a sword, it's like, okay, they're tough sons of bitches, but you're talking like a feckin' six killer weapon right across the face. Like, what is not to like about that? It's bad enough we have to cheese most of that stuff because of the overpowered packs there. Like, you see that? He doesn't butch. Like, he butches when he's dead. Yeah, but that's a bit late. Oh, um, I, don't, I don't know if you can build here. I don't think so. I, I don't think you can build here. I could be wrong, though. I, I don't think you can build near um, these things. You have to build outside of them, I think. Nice. Bastard. Oh, whoa, what is that?
Oh. Oh, come on. Seriously? That was way too disappointing loot, like, for something so amazing looking. Okay. That's what you want. Dick. Oh, okay, you can, can dismantle them for blocks. Oh, yeah, you can do that, actually. That's right. So with that silver chest, couldn't you put a fast drive? Yeah, so I I forgot you can do that with some runes as well, yeah. But I'm not sure if it's... Um, yeah, if you put the fast forward point there, you still get um, response. But yeah, you're right. Uh, we could... Like, the idea is obviously that you go there for experience as well. So there's two silver chests in that village. So... The best thing probably would be to put a fast server point like here and then if there's a village here as well to actually get both of these villages or something get experience and the loot um but yeah let's put everything away and as much as possible there we go oh yeah um let's go outside Oh, look at that, the corn is grown. Okay, I don't know if there's any berries there. I don't see any berries. Um, that's still crafting, that's still crafting. Is there anything in here? Oh yeah, we have our tomato seedlings now. And our strawberry seedlings. Yeah, let's put those guys down as well. Anyway, let's... Um, dip, 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 dip. Cook this, cook this. I really wish we didn't have to manually cook all that all the time. It's getting a bit tedious, to be honest. Um, Oh, we got actually a good amount of raw game. That is good. Ah, this... My fucking mouse. I have to buy a new mouse. I really hope they have another Death Adder in the shop tomorrow. Yeah, so in the moment, the weapons I need, they have to be base level, level 11 and legendary, or they have to be level 13 and purple. Anything less than that is immediately shredding. It's just useless. So, yeah, I think they have a lot of work to do on their weapons. Yeah, because uh, weapons and armor, because I feel the game, it, the game just doesn't feel satisfying 
in regards to weapons and armor that you find. So loot-wise, it doesn't feel satisfying in the moment. I don't think so. Um, it feels very satisfying in the beginning, but that then it kind of goes very quickly. Level 8, 9 around, pfft, it just starts dying down big time. Yeah. So um, I think they have a lot of work to do on that still because they want to be a mix between RPG, you know, with good loot and all that and survival games. So they they got the survival aspect nailed down to, I think, and the base building to a certain degree. Um, very much so, but when it comes to the RPG side, I think they still have a lot of work to do. It doesn't mean that what currently is in there is not good. It is good, and I would definitely say to anybody, this is an early access game you definitely want to buy, you know, if that genre is your type of thing. But I, it is it's still a lot of work. I mean, it is an early access, you know, so it, it's absolutely fine. They will do work, you know, but I hope that in the next update, rather than adding new things to the game that if they add new things, they also do some, what they did with the last update, you know, quality of life, some new things and improving things. So I hope they're going to do that again, but this time focus with the improvements and the balancing stuff on weapons and stuff, because it just feels very, there's no dopamine. I don't feel the dopamine in the beginning was like, whoa, legendary, whoa, this, whoa, that. And then, all of a sudden, everything you get is just higher level, but worse. And and that's that and that dopamine fix is gone. So if that makes sense until probably until later level. So once we get to level 15, probably or 16 and in another area, we're going to find better weapons again. But it, there seems to be a huge gap between the the weapons that you find where you go. Whoa, what an upgrade. It, it, you just don't have that moment as often. So, and I think the fault for that is these weapons here, yeah? Finding a legendary weapon that is a base level of level 7 is stronger than a base level 13 green weapon. That that makes, the, that's, they basically suffer from the same problem that 7 Days to Die suffers from, yeah? You should never have a level 7 base weapon on legendary be stronger than a level 9 base level green. It should just not be the case. Because if you find a, a weapon that's five levels higher that is green, it should be an upgrade. Your, your level seven legendary should not be stronger. Absolutely not, even if it's upgraded. So I think they're going to have to look at this to not increase the level, because I think they have done it very cheaply in the moment that when you upgrade a weapon, it just increases the level, yeah, which is the damage uh, that it's related to, plus these buffs. yeah. But if... It shouldn't increase level. It should simply just upgrade these these things here, but not increase in level or damage. It should be just, this is your base damage. This is what you get when you upgrade the weapon, but leave the damage and the level alone, because that way, as you find better weapons, you find a green level weapon that's, that's three levels higher. It, you have now a choice to make. Do I want to do 10 more damage, or do I rather have these things, yeah? And then it would be exciting because you find green weapons with maybe only two upgrades, you know, but it does 10 more damage, you know, than your legendary weapon, which is three levels lower. So I think they have to do a lot of work on that for balancing that. It's it's the seven days to die syndrome of feckin' weapons, uh, I think. Yeah, or even that hidden truth. But I, but I do think that gear you find that's higher level always has to be an upgrade. Yeah, you should not find this amazing level ten legendary weapon which carries you through to level twenty. Basically, that that should just not be a thing. That that never should be a thing. Yeah, I'm exaggerating, obviously, with level twenty. It's not that bad, but it, it is bad enough that the speed of your leveling causes you to have that big drought, whatever you call it, of zero dopamine fixes. Where you're just trying to catch up to get into the next higher area to get better weapons. And that catch up is uh, slow and uh, feels kind of lackluster, you know, in that case. Compared to the journey you have in the first area and the first five, maybe seven, eight levels. Uh, exactly, unless you have set items. Now, if they say, okay, each well gives you like a piece of a set item, when it has a chance to drop a piece of a set item, 
that would be amazing because then you can say, okay, I'm going to grind this elixir well, I'm going to grind this well, this well, and now I have my first three set bonus of um, armor, including a weapon that if I have that weapon, I might do less damage, but I get this nice set bonus, which heals me every time I, uh, which does leech, for example. Every time I hit something, I get 10% uh, of my health as leech, yeah? Uh, something like that, hypothetically. Yeah, So that would be worth it then, because then you have a lot more choice where you say, okay, I'm going to do more damage, sacrifice the bonus, or I want the bonus, do, do less damage. But uh, at least you have the freedom then of playing around with your weapons, and each weapon you find feels like an exciting choice that could be something that you replace the current weapon with, you know? Or armor, whichever. So I think we have everything now. Um, we have to repair, sorry. And it is morning. What are our trees like? Our trees are not growing. So, oh, actually, have these collect? What collect? these? Th that is a full tree? Okay, so these trees haven't grown. They're probably too close, but these trees have grown. Okay. It's weird that you collect trees. These trees have not grown at all. And these trees have... Okay, so trees seem to be a mystery still to me. Um, but we we'll just leave them there and let them grow and see what happens. Um, Yeah, exactly. Uh, and and the funny thing is, I was watching a video of a guy. Yeah, uh, uh, I'm not gonna name any names or whatever. Yeah, and he was um, saying, "Oh, I'm only level nine, and I'm doing the the final hollow dungeon." Yeah, come on. Yeah, take a chill pill. He has a level nine character, but he gives he gave literally from his main his level ni nine character. All the weapons, level 25 weapons and level 25 armor or something. It's like, no, you are not level 9. You literally are completely buffed because you have absolute massive weapons and massive uh, um, uh, armor. And you have level 25 staff with all the spells. That is not a level 9 doing a, a level 25 dungeon. No, it's not. That is literally not the same thing. Because a level 9 would not have access to those weapons, and a level 9 would not have access to all those spells. So I, I find those very um, cheap, feckin', whatever you call it, you know. Um, you know, when people had these fake thumbnails and um, to show you things like from movie clips that are not actually in the video then? Um, like when it's like, oh, 10 movies coming out this year and they show you something that's not actually coming out. Um, you know? Yeah, so, so yeah, exactly. So if I'm saying I'm level 9, I'm beating a level uh, whatever dungeon, sure. I'm level 13, but my weapons, I could find a weapon now that's level 15 base level because of the area I'm in. Absolutely. Oh, shit, Buck. These guys are already on the road. Um... So yeah, if I have level 25 weapons, I can steamroll through here because guess what? It's, you know, whatever. And then I give myself all those high level potions as buffs. Basically, as a level 9, I will have 600 health and uh, maximum armor. And it's like, okay, I'm not level 9. <laughs> no. A uh, hidden truth. I'm sorry. No, but I'm just saying, if you make a video saying I'm a level 9, I'm beating the, the final level dungeon. 
at least don't put in level 25 gear and use level use eternal spells eternal fire spells no level 9 has access to that because people that click on the video including me look at this and go holy shit how good is this guy like yeah i need to see his tactics i need to see how he's like weaving and dodging and you know do an elden ring style fucking call out on the mobs no he's just overpowered <laughs> you know so it's like okay so it basically, the, the one thing he proves with that video is that skill points don't matter fuck all, yeah? Because if you can beat with level 9 skill points, uh, level 25 enemies, just with gear and weapons, it means skill points are absolutely meaningless. Oh, you bastard. Yeah, what now? But now, you c oh shit, he's actually coming up. Oof, he is so strong, this asset. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, balls. I actually did a jump attack, but you are absolutely ignoring me. And they're so fast as well. I hate these guys. I hate these guys with a passion. They don't budge. They don't fucking budge. Jesus Christ, are these guys annoying. Is there... Okay, sorry, where's the option in the menu? Like, testicle... Fork in my testicle instead of fighting these idiots. Yeah, but why would I want to have to use a wand? That makes no sense. I should be able to play a warrior class and fight these guys. Like, I can't even block their damage because they're like such irritating pieces of shit. Unbelievable. Are they both dead? Yeah. Well, one is dead. Unbelievable. What pieces of crap. I can't even loot this guy now. Oh, you're an asshole. Come on. There we go. Jesus. Um, yeah, oof, yeah, we're gonna have to go back home to heal up. Yeah, these guys are awful. Yeah, I mean, like I said, the thing is, you should be able to block them, which we can, obviously, yeah, to a certain degree. But then they hit so hard and so fast, they actually stun you. And... You can't interrupt them. If I hit them, they'll just go, yeah, whatever, don't give a fuck. And they just keep hitting you. That that makes no sense. Again, two-handed weapons, hammer in the face, they should not be able to get a hit off. Yeah. And then once I'm finished with my hit, I have to back up, I have to dodge, and then hit them again to interrupt them. They should not be able to hit you when they get hit in the face with a hammer that's like, what, five, six kilos heavy? <sighs> yeah, right. That's, 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 that's a thing. And... Um, Yeah, two-handed weapons are very slow, but the one-handed weapon I have is sucks donkey balls. Um, okay. Um, so let's do this. Yeah, we need more buffs. We need... I don't... I can't... You see, I can't make the popcorn until I get... I need that table saw. What I might do is actually just run all past them and go where the table saw is. Pick it up and then just get the hell out. Um, I might do that. That looks like that might be the best choice right now. 
Yeah, let's do that. Let's just run in here and just go right past everything and uh, go for it. But you see, I'm not getting any better weapons. That's the thing. Yeah, the best weapon I got is this. Which is basically, it says it's level 15, so it's like, oh, it's overpowered. No, it's not really, because it's a level 11 base level weapon. And... But the game is treating this me, the damage I'm doing with this, is not enough for level 13 mobs, clearly. So, there's something wrong with the scaling, but... At least with other enemies, you can kind of dodge, you can see what they're doing, but these guys are fast. They're just way too fast. Why are you getting... Okay, fine. Get up then. That was my fault. That was my fault. Walked right into that, I walked right into that. They just don't give a fuck when they get hit in the face. Jesus Christ. So what do we have here? Level 13 weapon, 43 damage. Now, this is a good upgrade. And again, this is a good choice, yeah? Because it's like, do I want to do more damage? And when I upgrade it, I probably do 46 damage. Will I do 10 more damage? Or do I want to do health leech? And at this stage, the damage is probably so much higher that I might say, you know what? Damage is more important right now, yeah? So just upgrade these two levels, get 46 damage, 47 maybe and uh you know then do this but i really think when you upgrade a weapon it should not increase the damage it should give you this but that shouldn't be increasing the total damage it just means it should maybe add a bleed effect so i think they might have to um well the cutting damage is here so they do plus seven cutting damage whatever and but that's separate damage to the damage up here and that damage should not be increased that should stay the same as a level 10 weapon. You should just get the effects and not change that damage number. And that way, these weapons will become so much better when you find them. You know, every single weapon you find could be a potential upgrade then, which is great. So this boss, I don't know how I'm gonna do this boss. I think I can cheese that boss if I'm, yeah, I think I can cheese it. Do I have the saw plate? I do, yeah.
she dead? Really? Oh, wow. Level 13, 21 power. Yeah, that's that's good. Let's see if there's, there's... There should be more chests here, though. Oh, shit. What a dick. You're a scary flippin'. And no wonder that everybody's cheesing you. Because you're just a scary mother of... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god, it's a level one only. But we can... Oh my god, let me see. Oh no. Uh, a clever coated with acid. I wonder if this will be better than this. Even though we have health regen here. That would be pretty sweet to see, though. Because of the poison damage? Yeah, that would... Oh, man. Can you imagine that would have dropped as a legendary now? Genie Mac, that would have been so awesome. I'm actually amazed to see that we got the weapon that they have as a drop. I didn't expect that to happen. I think there's a chest up there in the tower. And there's a chest here, is there? Yeah. Not a big boy chest, but... Nobody cares. Any more hidden chests here? Yeah, look at that, nice. Oh, okay. Outside. <laughs> there we go. For fuck's sake, another stuff. <sighs> Always another stuff. Okay, anyway, I think we got all the chests here. We got the table, so I'm going to leave that fast forward point here, actually, because this is going to be our test of strength, I think. And this is the hunting ground thing we're gonna have to do so i'm gonna kind of tempted like um mm. yeah let's leave that here because we can do more exploring here and then come back around yeah oof Hopefully we can unlock some better armor now that we can craft because finding armor is really um, not a reliable thing. You can't target farm, so it's completely random. Ooh, the circular saw. We can actually craft it now. Of course we can, yeah. Iron bars. Ooh, that's nice. But for that we need um, other things. So let's craft a table saw. Yes. My pleasure. And oh, that's the same head as the other one. No, is it? Oh, well, it would be great. Um, let me see. Ah, oh, it would be great if there was a bit of variety between. Yeah, okay, whatever. Yeah, we're gonna upgrade these and see how they how they hold up. So let's do that.
Level 48. That Now, that is a good improvement now. Well, it, it was about time, but um, this one does level 31. <laughs> it's uh, I can't believe it's weaker than what I have, but it, it see, I don't know how good... What is cutting damage good for? I don't know. Um, the poison might actually be good because it will cause a poison tick. So we might actually try that one out. And what do we have here? That does 25 damage. Yeah, that is a huge jump. Yeah. Okay. I'm here. Okay, let's uh, try that one out, I guess. Um, we keep this one with us, though, just in case. And, yeah, this one is going to be something we have to do as well. This one we don't have to take with us. City wall blocks. They look awesome. Um, that one is level 10, level 13, so we can get rid of that. This one, we can get rid of that. repair um uh, just have to sneak around and more till you find the gear of that so for that zone yeah steven see you later thank you so much for popping in um i cursed the game much the same way i think it does that so you can get some basic green gear then use that to get the epic and legendary stuff but i haven't found i i, I haven't found any uh, legendary um i have found one epic weapon well two web two two epic swords in the middle area so basically you have the low level area here then you have the level 11 gear here in this area and then you have the level 13 here in this area yeah level 11 so level 11 goes to about here and then you have level 13 here so in the level 9 area i found everything from you know level 9 uh, purple white green and legendary in the level 11 area i haven't found one legendary i found two epics the rest were green and white which were worse than the level uh, uh seven legendaries i had so i actually had uh, no upgrade really for uh, several hours of gameplay in this area so and if that is the way the drop rate is and the luck can go, it kind of prevents you from progressing because the only chance you have then is just sit down here and do some repeat shit until you're high level enough to just be too strong, you know? So... Oh, the, it's well, it's it, it is noob zone, yes, but uh, you have tier two resources now, yeah, and the tier two resources go from level eleven mobs to level thirteen mobs. Um, level nine is still the tier one resources, so level one, le the tier one area, so what I consider the tier one because of the type of resources you find there, goes up to level nine, and then it goes from nine to eleven, and eleven is then in the zone where you get the tier two resources, the indigo the amber, you know, the clay, that type of stuff. The flax, that, that is all in the, what what I see as the next tier biome, yeah? And that and in that whole biome, I found literally hours, over several hours, no upgrades compared to the legendary items I found in the noob zone. So, yeah, they definitely, I think that middle tier, whatever you want to call it, that tier two zone needs definitely a lot of work on gear and uh, weapons and all that so let's see if we actually can place that and unlock some recipes so let's see um actually we can place it here because we can access this separately so this allows us to make planks um from wood logs um, sure do i have no wood logs here what yeah i do it's a pity it doesn't show me how many I actually have in my inventory. 
Um, okay. I have to put the cook these. Yeah, these ones are very good for AOE, I noticed. So it's actually good to have these. So if you have a huge amount of mobs, you can just shoot a couple of those arrows and then when they get close to use your two-hander to go ba-bam, you know, and that's it. So here we have the bones. Cloth. So yeah, I will have to farm. I think before I can go any further than this, I have to farm this area here, especially probably no this is the level one mob sorry um this well i have to keep farming for the two chests that are in there where i could get possibly a legendary level 11 weapon which then allows me to upgrade it to level 16 and um, something like that or i could get a level 13 legendary there actually i think if i'm lucky but it means a lot of farming. So, and, and this is where maybe it's time to start looking at the what? Where is it here? Maybe it's time to look at hollow halls because we got a quest for hollow halls already at level 10. So maybe it's time to start looking at hollow halls. I think that actually might be the way to go now. So, um, because our weapons and everything seem to be strong enough now for level, uh, 11 tw uh, level 13 mobs well getting there so i think we should be able to take on that first hollow halls dungeon the next time we stream i think so but now we can actually make the comfort higher let me see let me take some of these and see if we can craft the big boy. I I actually don't like the fact that this is a rare trophy, you know, because this is a legendary head. Yeah, this head is legendary. It's a one, two, three, four, five, five, five star head turned into a three star trophy. Hmm, not sure that makes sense. I'm sorry. That should not be. They should have to lower that to a, to a rare head, because it makes no sense. No, no, no. Need two more wood planks for the last head. Oh. <laughs> okay, so that's how they do it. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. They do the tier 2 versions now to everything. But we need bronze bar for that. Yeah, that is a bit weird. Uh, 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 the, yeah, I know what I know why they're doing it though. It's it's yeah, yeah, it kind of makes sense. Okay, so let's see if we can place them here somewhere. So let's get rid of the meat first. Yeah, you upgrade them later. Yeah, so th th then it kind of makes sense. But, well, you don't really upgrade them because I need three more legendary heads to make a tier four. Uh, uh, like, you know. So, I don't know. Because I think the recipe showed me I need three heads now. So, it's funny that they say three heads. What should be is there should be um, all the elixir well. Uh, sorry, yeah, the elixir wells. They shouldn't have the same boss in it. Dif each elixir well should have a different boss. Some actually don't have bosses, which is very disappointing. Um, they have just mobs, and you kill them, and you, then there's a chest. But I think each elixir well should have a unique boss, so that you have to farm that specific elixir well um, for the trophy. And then the higher level you get the higher level the boss in the next elixir well you get that trophy so rather than having the system look very cheap by using the same three heads you know uh, it's like okay you're basically 
just have the same bosses. It's, uh, Catch you later. Yeah. So I would like to see different bosses, like, instead of um, the same type over and over. I mean, there will be a new boss, actually, eventually, because we need um, a Fell Whisper and Copper Ore. So I'm assuming that will be level 15, 16, probably, area. So the next area we get for the Tier 3 resources will probably have this guy and the Copper Ore. I think this guy I've seen in a video, it's like a big monster on four legs. It's like a big dog or something, demon dog that you fight. So, um, and then after that, there's iron ore as well. So I think there's two more zones, isn't there? A copper ore and then iron ore, something like that. So, um, let me see. What? Cannot build here? What? Why not here over the bed? Mm. Yeah, let me go to bed for. Oh, crap. Go to bed first. How fast is this weapon? Feels slower than when they swing it. And we can't dual wield these either, which is depressing. So, yeah, in the long run, what I would like to see in this game is better loot stuff, uh, like we said. And I also would like to see uh, more meaning in these trees, yeah? I would like to see that if you only, if you invest into the assassin tree, you can dual wield daggers. One of these has to be a loud dual wield of daggers. I want to see in the Beastmaster tree allows the wearing of a staff that allows you to do something with animals. Yeah, whatever. The Ranger. You can have now very special um, uh, bows that you cannot wield unless you have this skill. Yeah, unless you are a Ranger. Um, Survivor, I don't know. That just sounds like basically useless. I don't know. It's uh, This should probably be somewhere here in the middle for most of it. Um, athlete also athlete utility like survivor and athlete should probably be all somewhere in the middle shared between all of these um, barbarian yeah two dual like two hammer two handed weapon I should not be able to wield higher level two handed weapons unless I have a skill in barbarian unlocked here towards the center of the tree or something yeah I should not be able to have um I don't know, dual wield swords or something like that as a warrior with a spin attack unless I do. You know what I mean? So, like, you should only be... You, you get a taste of every weapon as you're low level. But as you get higher level, the weapons that drop that are level 15, level 16, they should you should not be able to use them unless you have invested into the matching tree of the skills. That would make give this so much more meaning because if you see a level 9 that literally has no skill points, yeah? With level 25 gear and level 25 weapons, clear the final dungeon of the game, there's something wrong, yeah? Because skills should matter more than that, yeah? For somebody to have basically no skill points invested and being able to beat the final dungeon in top gear is just ridiculous. Yeah, exactly, more class-specific abilities in that case, yeah. So I, but I, I'm, I have confidence they're gonna do a lot of that type of stuff. And maybe not exactly how I'm describing it, but they are very good. the The update they brought out was amazing. Like, yeah, the hollow halls, and it works. It's not bugged. It's, you know, I mean, the enemy AI can be a bit better and less aggressive sometimes, and more tactical rather than just here's ten enemies that will rush you. But you know, it's still fun. It's it, it's kind of nice. So let's see if we can put these uh, guys out here, maybe. Uh, let's put this one here. Um. 
So now we need some lights here. They're not moving. I hope they're not moving because that, that would be freaky. Okay. Um, and now our comfort level is level 16. Oh. Oh. So they are not giving us three comfort levels. They give us just one comfort level. Is it? Oh, maybe I have to put them on the inside. So level 15, level 16. been nice if you get like yeah i suppose the variations yeah so yeah, okay it's better than nothing i guess yeah we're gonna have to work on our base uh during one of the episodes as well one of the streams um oh look at that we got berries that is oh nice finally we got some berries you guys were right so they have two stages of growth you yeah, and these guys you give us hopefully um Twigs, yes, that is good. I love it. Because I was just wondering, why do we only get um, one fiber? You know? So here we got twigs and fiber now, which is amazing. There we go. And the trees hopefully will grow as well now. And here we have harvest, 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 yes. Oh, we get more than one. That's amazing. We get like two or three of them. That is so cool. What about strawberries? Oh, we only get one strawberry. Okay. And tomatoes? We get two. Okay. All right. That is really, really good. I like it. We definitely need more beets and more cameline, whatever. chests here we go here's the beads and here's the camomile Cam It takes a while to place all that, but yeah. I wonder if they're going to do a farming update at some point where you don't have to replant, where you can just pick up and, you know, don't have to reseed. That would be nice. And what else do we have here left? Um, corn seedlings? Yeah, sure. Might as well put them down.
Okay. Let's check the trees. Ooh! Ooh, look at that! Nice! Yeah, these ones turned into collect. That is weird. But look at this beauty. And what about the red one? Nice. So these red ones should give us um, resin. And it would still be very nice to see some of them grow with um, honey and wax. Oh, I thought there was a book or something like a red glow, but it came from the background here. So the trees do grow. They just take very, very, very long to grow. All right, um, yeah, we are pretty much full here now, so I'm just gonna leave this as a backup here, this here as a backup. We're gonna have to make more of these arrows. Um, this one is equipped now. And meat-wise, I think we can switch over to the bigger meat now. We have, maybe not yet, we still use the, the wolf meat, actually. End of story. And we just need to get more water. And that's it then. Okay, we're pretty much ready to go. Um, I just have to make a couple of more arrows for next time. Um, there we go. Sure. 254. All right, um, I'm going to leave it here. Yeah, not having to replant would be good. Yeah, or just give all the to the farmer NPC. Yeah, okay, the farmer NPC would be great, yeah. Um, you can grow honey and wax later. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, that's that's awesome. So I was hoping for beehives or something, but uh, it would have been nice even if, if some of the trees, like you would have a certain type of tree that when you plant it, it has like say a 50% chance to grow with a a beehive, you know? So that, that would be fine because they grow on trees anyway. So I would have been happy about that even. So... Um, Biggles, how are you? Oh, sorry, you, you just came in here on the end, I think. Um, unless I missed you coming in earlier, so sorry if I did. Um, but yeah, we're gonna leave this here. So yeah, these guys are frustrating as hell. The guys that swing these cleavers, like, double-handed, are just... Wow. I I don't like them at all. Um, I really hope we're gonna get new armor soon and a new shield, because this is literally the shield I'm still using. I have not found... Never a better shield stop. at all so sword and shield are slowly starting to become worthless and i'm slowly having to fight more and more with my 200 you know because why have a 100 sword uh, equipped if stop. you have a 200 that does way more damage you know so but we'll see anyway oh my god at level 30 we, we level 25 is max level i think yeah Swept through a lot. Oh yeah, okay. Well, ooh, thank you very much, Biggles. Um, I'm very tired now as well, so I'm gonna go and uh, hit the hay as well. And tomorrow we're gonna be back with um, No Man's Sky. I can't wait to continue with that. So um, thank you very much uh, for watching. I hope you had a good time, even if we got to a very frustrating part of the game was getting overrun by bugs. I didn't know you have to kill the hive. They kept respawning. I was like, why are they keep coming? Every time I kill them, they kept coming back. So, yeah, I didn't know yet you could actually kill the nests. I thought they just burst open and then they come out and that's it. But they definitely seem to respawn. So we have to try to destroy the nests next time to see if that helps. And, um, yeah, we go from there. Anyway, have a good night. If you could leave a like on the way out, that would be appreciated. And i see you guys tomorrow. Until then, have a good night and stay safe. Bye-bye.